morning everybody um, we are on our way the sun is out it's a lovely day and I'm on my way to spring into Will in Leeds it's a little bit further than I thought so an hour so best to get going and I'll show you some of the journey So we've arrived, just parking, and there's loads of people. It's really exciting. So let's take you in. Everyone's parking around me. I probably think I'm a bit weird <laughs> doing a video. So let's go in. So you can imagine how pleased was I when I walked straight in and there were some fleecy uh, sort of locks. Um, so I sort of spied them straight away, had a chat with the lady. I was going to walk around the whole thing and then come back. Now there was obviously, I thought this was quite nice. I've done some uh, Highland Cow coats with this before. But there were obviously tons and tons of wool. And I sort of stayed away from the, the twisted wool. I can't remember what it's called um because i knew they were fairly pricey now this is the threshing barn these are little felted like i think they were empty inside almost like acorns or they were really sweet um these sort of things just catch my eye because wool is so tactile now i went straight into this um these are really really lovely and uh, you'll see in the end i did purchase some of these <laughs> um but yeah, really lovely colours that I definitely knew because I do a lot of coat effects and I definitely knew I'd be able to use them. Um, but she had quite a lot of stuff on this stand and the lady was really helpful. These ones are the bats containing some amazing glitters. Not that they're, you know, useful for me really, but it was still lovely to see. Now these round hoop things are kits and the one behind has got trees on it. Oh look, World of Wool. I found World of Wool kits. Um, and this is the kit down here and I still might, I was really intrigued by this. It looks so good and you buy the whole kit and it obviously tells you how to do it. Um, I found some Hawthorne handmade needle felting kits there, which was good to see and some mats. So, you know, there's elements of it and there was some workshops. Um, I didn't manage to get to see them because they were sort of uh, shut away. Um, this is a canteen. It's huge. You can imagine this is your school canteen. It was an absolutely amazing venue. Um, this stand, she had a lot of felted items, but I know that she definitely didn't make most of them. So I'm imagining they, that she, you know, purchased them in, but they were still lovely to look at. Still very inspirational. Um, these little sheep were really cute. And there were quite a few items on this stand that were felted and sewn felt as well. Um, this, this is like, um, um. A bunting of sheep so there was a lot of them in a row so that was nice beautiful little whale um, I like the effect the stitching work on it and then there were some dragons again they're sewn up these were felted dinosaurs they were lovely and then these cactuses again they're sewn uh, felt but you know it's just nice to take inspiration from things isn't it and that was a little unicorn so really cute oh, and these were really nice they were felted I thought they were lovely very characterful so this lady was knitting with huge um, uh, knitting needles so that was quite fun there was a lot going on so I've tried to video people doing things 
Now this are these are things I'm going to talk about about towards the end because I did purchase one, but they're for the birds. And I found these big bags, alpaca fleece, fifteen pounds a bag. Um, and I hadn't made my mind up, so I thought I'd come back later and have a look. So I went all the way around. So this was the big hall, and then there was another hall with slightly less things, and then there was a lot of people in the foyer. So I think they quoted it as about ninety to a hundred stalls. So again, these draw my eyes because they're for coat effects. Now this is, um, she didn't call it punch tool or punch needling, but it's similar to, she was punching the thing through and pulling the wool back up as a loop. Um, so I can't remember the proper name of it, but it's really lovely. And I've seen a lady on YouTube do videos with this and it's very tempting to get one, but the results, the effects, very tactile cushions that you've got lovely loop effects on them. I found some great wet felting with um, embroidered design work or sewing machine design work on top being put onto bags. I know that a couple of my patrons do this and do this very well. So they were nice to look at. But, and then on the other side, she had some pictures and paintings. And again, they were really beautifully done, nicely framed as well. There was one just over of the dandelions just over here, the little blue one but really delicate, lovely detailed work. I, really, I thought they were very, very beautiful. And this um, rabbit, and you can imagine there's a lot of work that's gone into these. Now this is um, Frankie and Sydney, who I met at Cannon Hall Farm and she's a needle felter. Look, this is a needle felted egg with a mouse on it. It's all felted, it's so good. And look at this. And because it's on the turnstall, it really caught your eye when you were walking around. So that was a really good one. So they do a lot of kits. A lot of you will recognise their kits as well. These Highland cows, um, they're on Etsy. They're really well known. But they're really um, beautiful and distinctive. Look at the meerkats. But she does do 2D. And obviously I've just done the tiger recently for Claire's Crafts Creates. This is a dog one. So it was really interesting for me to go and have a look. And the prices are really good for kits. That owl one is stunning, but the one she sells the most of is this hair. She said, people buy this all the time. That's the owl kit and that's the hair kit. So that's one of her most popular kits. This was interesting. This is Joe's Toes. Everything to make your own slippers. <laughs> How unusual. I just, I just thought it was a really bizarre thing to have and it was a great name, Joe's Toes. So I thought that was cute. These are some ceramics that were there that I really liked. She's done a beautiful job with them. I mean, there's an awful lot there as well. So she must have, you know, been working at this for a long time. These flowers are very, very nice. And look at that display unit. How beautiful. So we had some spinning and it's, you know, good for me to see because it's not something I do with the wool, but it's just really interesting to watch and see. And this lady, she's um, moving it with her feet either side. So it's such an easy way to do it. So she was lovely, had a chat with her. These are knitted. I thought it was just really cute alpaca design. This is something I was looking at to try and do a coat effect with, but I don't think it would work. And these are the um, sort of like tag rugs where you uh, do them onto some netting. And there's another one there on netting. And they're really lovely, really tactile. If you like wool, if you like materials, that's a material tag one. And then she was doing a massive um, knitting uh, rug again. So that was really nice to see. This one was super, super soft and really warm. And this was some other things that's a bit of weaving. And then that was, I think it's how you put the yarn together. And then some dyes. I thought that was interesting the way he'd laid them all out to see the range of uh, colours that you can get. So, and it was a really, it was an unusual display as well, but yeah, there's absolutely tons of colours there. So it was really interesting to have a look at that. And then, so I'd been all the way around and I went back and I purchased some items. Um, so I was really happy and then back in the car for the journey home. everyone so I am back um, I've had some lunch let me just show you a couple of things that I bought because actually even though it wasn't for like there wasn't tons of needle felters there was a few things I got which I think were really really good so this is alpaca fleece and it's the nicer bits it's a whole fleece they've taken off all the 
the worst bits got used for um carding she said to me she goes oh you could card that and I said oh no I said I might use it <laughs> as it is and it's um it's got lots of lanolin in, in it but it doesn't smell at all but I got that whole bag it's my hand that's huge that was 15 pounds and most of it looks like it's pretty good so I was really pleased with that and then on the same stand is this which is something you hang out for the birds and it's got fibers in it It was three pounds fifty so you hang it up and then they take it for their nests but the thing is I thought I have so many little off cuts and off bits that I could put in this and keep it stocked up so I thought that was really really good so that's something I'm definitely going to be doing put that down there then I bought this it's about 800 grams worth and it's um like a buccal yarn but it's just really great because I will use that most definitely for doing some sheep effects uh, um, it wasn't I was debating it but I did buy it in the end then um Haw Hawkshaw sheep Sue I was having a lovely chat with her this is um fleece from now we had a bit of a it's not a, a q anyway it should be an o so they're wisson or i don't know how you say it exactly wisson sheep they're tiny little sheep they're really sweet so uh three bags of this it is unwashed but they were two pounds each For two pounds i'm gonna make be able to definitely make something out of that so two pounds each so six pounds in total i just thought yeah that's really that's worth doing um, and it's lovely. I liked to talk to people who had their own sheep and things like that, because then you feel you're really sort of buying into their brand. Um, the threshing barn. She was quite big um, and she had all these lovely colours. So this one, that one hasn't got a name, but this one, this is what was quite sweet. Dry stone wool colour. So it's loads of dry stone wool colours. And this one, Wensleydale cheese let's move it over there then you can see all the colors in it but i just thought that would look lovely um as a coat for a sheep this one is a little bit it's got the highland cow fleck in it so it'd be interesting that'd be really good and then the last thing i bought which was to sort of not treat myself i don't know if i'll give it as a prezi but i really loved her, her things that she was doing and it's so completely different um it's a little sheep but she had some really beautiful things there can you see it all right there we go it's focusing but yeah it was really really sweet and it comes in a little matchbox so that's even better so there we go um so for me definitely worth going i have to say and the next one i'm going to go to is yarndale in skipton in september it's towards the end of september and i'm going to go for the same sort of theory turn up first day really early and some of my patrons i think might come so that would be really lovely if we get to meet people there but thanks for watching and i hope you've enjoyed this and we'll see you soon